There, there, there. Three different words with the same sound, many headaches. Let's create a sentence where we use at least a version of each of them. This is going to be a camping story. There is a reason. Uh, there's a group of people, so I'm going to say they are. There is a reason they're erecting their tent over there. Perhaps the grass is softer over there, or over here the grass is soggy, so they're erecting their tent over there. So there is a reason they're erecting their tent over there. So for a start, we've got two uses of T-H-E-R-E. -E. There is a reason, and over there. And they look a little different, but the concept is the same. That use of T-H-E-R-E -E means a space that something occupies, either conceptually or actually physically in the universe. So there is a reason. As soon as a reason exists, at least in terms of our language, it is thought to occupy a space. So as soon as it gets that verb to be, which the word is, is part of the verb to be, it's thought of as existing, and so it occupies a space. There is, there it is. Uh, and then physically, the tent is going to go over there, so away from us at a certain unspecified distance away from us, over there. So in both senses, uh, there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, is used to indicate a space, either a conceptual space or an actual space in the universe. Right, let's look at they are. Now, in formal writing, we don't tend to contract. So, we could avoid this hurdle by just writing they are. Because that's why the apostrophe is there. It's because two words have been joined, contracted together, and the A has been removed and replaced by an apostrophe. So we could say, there is a reason they are erecting their tent over there. So in formal writing, this may not come up so much, but it will come up in informal writing a lot. And so we need to be clear about when we use the apostrophe form of there. The last one is what's called a possessive. Who owns the tent? Well, this group of people own the tent. So it is their tent. If this had been a story about one woman erecting the tent, I would say there is a reason she is erecting her tent. So there is just the possessive pronoun that we use for a group of people. So this here is a possessive. And that's it in a nutshell. Avoid the contracted form in formal writing and write they are, or he is instead of he's, or she is instead of she's. Only use the ERE form for a space that you're referring to, either in someone's mind or in the world or the universe. And only use the possessive form when something is being owned by somebody or something else. There, there, there. And there it is.